Hi everyone, I'm Swati from India Hikes. Today we're talking about a very important topic that you cannot ignore, especially if you're stepping into high altitudes. You could be going on a Himalayan trek, you could be going anywhere in the world into high altitude, or you could be going to Badrinath, Kedarnath, your Char Dham Yatras. You need to know about this important information about AMS. And to do that, I have with me Dr. Lakshmi Selva Kumaran. She is the head of the learning and development team at India Hikes. Dimox masks symptoms of AMS, so don't take Dimox. What are your thoughts on that? This is one of the most dangerous myths to have, uh, primarily because Dimox actually helps you um, acclimatize better. And in fact, it can aid you to have a much more successful and comfortable trek if you just understand how it does and what it does. Um, to just give you some context, I think Indian Himalayas uh, is very unique in that sense that uh, uh, the mountains are very steep. So you climb very fast in a day. So according to general guidelines, it is recommended you don't climb more than 1000 feet a day. Unfortunately, in Indian Himalayas, that's not going to be possible. That's why we call it as forced uh, ascents. So in such a situation where you're already putting pressure on your body, it is really important to say, I will take whatever help I can get to make sure that I feel more comfortable on the trek and I reduce the chances of having AMS on a trek. Right? Many people also have this idea that I don't want to take a medicine. Um, it plays with their mind. Uh, but I'm saying that you didn't stop yourself from wearing a more comfortable shoe or a more functional shoe or a functional backpack. You do upgrade with time and knowledge and technology, better ways of going and doing about a trek. For me, Dimox is just one another way of doing that. Um, Dimox is otherwise very safe drug to consume. In fact, we for treks that goes beyond 14,000 feet, we actually strongly recommend our trekkers to take Dimox because you're coming all the way from planes um, and you're trying to reach 14,000 feet in a matter of two days or three days of a trek. Uh, you are putting your body in a lot of stress and you are also increasing the chances of getting AMS. So might as well take all the help that you can. And so I strongly suggest that uh, don't believe in this myth and take Dimox if you can. This was a small part of a longer video we have covering the five most common myths about acute mountain sickness. If you are heading into high altitude, this video is a must watch so that you take care of yourself and stay away from acute mountain sickness. So head over there and watch the video right away.